the propane system. The propane tanks are stored in the fiberglass propane tank housing located at the front of your travel trailer. Your Oliver comes standard with two 20-pound propane tanks. If you have purchased the Legacy Elite 2, you may have chosen the 30-pound propane tanks upgrade option not available on the Legacy Elite model. The propane system helps operate several components on your travel trailer. The water heater, furnace, stove, refrigerator, and optional propane quick connects all work using propane as fuel. Your Oliver is equipped with a removable lid that allows you full access to the tanks. The housing lid is held in place by two easy to use hood latches. To release the latch, simply pull the latch back from the top. Once both hood latches have been released, carefully lift the fiberglass lid up and over the propane cylinders inside. The two propane cylinders are each tightly secured in the propane tray mounted to the frame. The securing mechanism also holds the propane regulator in place. To supply gas to the components that use propane, you will need to open the valves on the propane tanks. The two-stage automatic changeover regulator controls the flow of propane throughout the LP lines. You will want to point the changeover lever to the left or right to indicate your primary propane tank. When gas is present in your primary tank, the indicator on the front of the regulator will be green. Once your primary tank is depleted, the automatic changeover function of the regulator will automatically switch to the reserve tank and the indicator will be red, letting you know the primary tank is depleted and the reserve tank is now being used. If needed, you can point the changeover lever toward your reserve tank and view the indicator to let you know how much gas remains in the reserve tank. If you are simply needing to open or close the tank or access the regulator controls, you can also simply open the round propane deck port located on the front of the housing lid for quick access. To remove your propane tanks for refilling, first ensure the tank is turned off and unscrew the hose connection by turning the connector counterclockwise. Between the tanks, remove the large wing nut by turning it counterclockwise until it comes off the threaded rod and then lift the regulator up and set it to the side. Now, lift the bar that secures the two tanks and remove or allow it to drop between the tanks. Carefully lift the tank from the propane housing. Once the propane tank is refilled, reverse the steps to secure the tanks inside the propane housing. If you have chosen the optional propane quick connects, you will find one located on the bottom curb side of the propane housing and one inside the rear bumper on the right. The propane quick connects allow you to connect propane grills, campfires, or other items to your low pressure propane system. Most propane grills or campfires come with a hose that connects directly to a propane bottle. In order to use the propane quick connects on your trailer, you will need a hose that uses a quarter inch male NPT quick connect fitting. A propane hose is not supplied with your Ollie, but you will receive two quick connect fittings. Once you have the proper fitting installed on your grill or campfire, first turn the lever on the quick connect to the off position. Next, pull the blue dust cap off. Push the sleeve back on the connection and insert the male fitting into the female quick connect socket. Push the fitting until you feel it locked. Turn the lever on your quick connection back to the on position to open the flow of propane to your grill, campfire, or other propane component. For additional safety, it is recommended to turn off your propane tanks while traveling. Let's move to the street side of the trailer and go over a few features located there.